This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, discounted prices, miniaturemarket.com. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. Today we're gonna be painting. Get that easel up, because we're gonna be painting buildings and characters and seasons. We're gonna be painting trees like this guy's doing. Because we're gonna be uh, over in Kanagawa. Now this is a game that's not yet out. It's designed by Bruno Cathala and Charles Chevalier, the same team that brought you Abyss, and it's coming out by Yellow, this Essen. Um, and I had a chance to sit down with Bruno Cathala at Gen Con after dinner and play it. I didn't know he was gonna have this game, so I did not have my camera with me, but I was able to get some images and kind of show you how the game works. And I'm gonna give you sort of a mini review. I've only played it once, but I have enough feeling about this game that I want to show you what it's like and what my first impressions or my, my mini review of this would be after one play to get you excited about this game for Essen because it is a great one. Let's check out Kanagawa. In Kanagawa, you're going to be building a tableau of beautiful paintings, and you're going to be painting all different types of things, like animals and trees and buildings and characters. On the other side of those cards, you'll also be building up the availability to paint certain types of buildings and also getting different types of special abilities. You'll also be trying to gain different bonuses in the different types of sections that you're building. Now how the game works is there's this really cool bamboo mat that gets put out in front of everybody and it's actually made of bamboo. It's one of the coolest components. And as rounds go on, cards are going to be put on this bamboo mat. In these dark red spots, cards are going to be putting face down. You won't know what you're getting, but it goes through a little bit of a bidding mechanism. Now even though cards are being put face down, you still have an idea of what's behind them. For example, if it looks like this, so there'll be trees, characters, buildings, and animals. So you have an idea, but you don't know exactly which one's behind it. So in this case, there's four players, so four cards are put out. This one was face down, as the board showed. Now, everybody going in turn order gets to decide whether they want to take one of these cards and be out for the rest of the round, or sort of press their luck and wait for more cards to come out and fill up the second row. So it's a little bit of a press your luck and a little bit of a bidding mechanism to see, hey, is this card one that I really, really need? I don't want anybody to steal it. Because if I say wait and the next cards come out below, they might take, it, take the entire column that I want. Because when there's cards here and it's your turn to take, if you do take them, you take every card in that entire column, stopping other people from getting those. Now you might notice that these cards have two different parts to them. They have the painting part and then they have the studio part. And when you get a card and you get all those cards, you must immediately place them either in your tableau, meaning you're painting them, building your tableau of paint, or you're putting them down here for the studio and possibly using a special ability or being able to now paint a certain piece of painting. Now, to be able to paint something like this, we look at this character. And what we need is we need to be able to paint two blue waves here. So if I needed to paint this, I would need to have two paint brushes uh, on two different blue items in my studio. Now you always start with one paintbrush to start the game and you start with the starter card which allows you to move any one of your paintbrushes that's already on a card to any other card. So using my starting special ability I can move this paintbrush to my first blue and I probably had another paintbrush that was off my board and you, if you have these off your board you can put them on anywhere. So I took one from off my board, I placed it here, and I took one that was already on, used this special ability and moved it here. That allowed me to paint the two blues and put this one in my tableau. That's how you paint. Now how do you know what to paint? Well in this game you're really trying to work towards different goals. Each type of card has bonus tiles that you're trying to get. And these bonus tiles have an interesting scoring. Similar to say the game Augustus or Rise of Augustus as you may know it. Uh, you're, you're working your way up. Here you see I have one, two, three, four trees already in my tableau. I decided when I had three trees to not take this bonus tile. That means I'm pressing my luck that I'm going to be the first one to get to four or to five. And when I pass that up and I decide not to take it, I can no longer take it later in the game. So you have to decide whether to take it now or never. Here I had gotten the fourth tree. I also had decided not to take it. But look, I'm getting ready to put my fifth tree in. I'm the first one to do it. I will take this tile. At the end it will be seven points and I also get a special ability. 
Now, here are other different type of bonus tiles. They're called diplomas in the game. Here are the tree ones we talked about, but there's other ones like these three are characters. You can't have two of the same characters, three different characters or three same characters. Here you'd be getting two different buildings, three different buildings and four different buildings. Here you're trying to build two specific animals, another two specific animals or three different animals. Here, as soon as you get three brushes or four brushes, you can get these. Here you get different amounts of the different types of studios in the, in, you know, down below. And here, if you're getting two or three different types of bonuses that allow you to move things, you'll get those. And those are the different bonuses that you're trying to get during the game. Now the game ends as soon as anybody gets, has 11 cards in their painting, including the starting card, and they do final scoring. Now you'll notice at the top right of each of these paintings is a season, summer, spring, winter, and fall. Some of them have a storm. Those are some extra bonuses you can get, and it's essentially a wild. So everyone will count up the largest consecutive season that they have. Each of those is a point. You'll also get a point for every single card in your painting. You'll add up your bonus points. There'll be some bonus points actually in some of the paintings and some of your studio cards. Some of them might remove points. And then whoever, whoever has the most at that point is the winner. Now Bruno showed me a few games, some that aren't signed yet, some that are signed, some are coming out later this year. And this was my favorite one of them. Uh, it looks like this like super light card game. It kind of gave me the feeling of, you know, um, looking at um, Takedo, the way that like you paint up these, you know, these, this, panoramic picture uh, and it just looks gorgeous the game just looks so good and the coolest thing is the bamboo mat is actually going to be bamboo which i think is going to be really cool and a lot of people are going to love that there's so many interesting things and like a lot of bruno's games lately he has this and charles of course they have this interesting bidding mechanism where the cards are coming out and some of them you can see and some of them are face down but even the ones that are face down you know what kind of card they are but is it the one that you really want you don't know and then you gotta decide do i want to pull this card and get only one this turn or do i want to wait and let another roll come up knowing that if i do wait i might be giving that up to my opponent who will grab the column of cards that i really wanted Ugh, it's that pressure luck element that's really excellent that bidding is very tense and then when you get the cards it's cool because you got those two different things to do with them do I have the ability to paint this? Do I want to paint this? What am I going for right now? Am I going for that? Am I going to be the first one to get to the trees and get those ones? Or maybe I'm trying to get different buildings. Maybe I'm trying to get different characters. Uh, maybe I'm trying to get a bunch of those, those, uh, those, those paint brushes. And I love the aspect that there's so many different ways to go. Maybe you're trying to just build this huge season. In the game that we played, I built like a season of about eight or nine long that were consecutive summer with a couple of wilds in there with the storms. And that really helped me win the game against Bruno, my friend Greg. But the game is really awesome. It's deeper than it looks. There's a lot more thinking than you might think there might be just by looking at it. It's a 45 minute card game. Even though it really was about 45 minutes, I don't feel like it overstated its welcome because there was so much to think about. That bonus scoring that's very similar to what was used in Augustus or Rise of Augustus was so interesting. I love that mechanism in that game and I love it in this game because you're it's that pressure luck element of, hey, I've got this, should I take it now? Or do I think I can get to the next one before the, before the next guy and before the end of the game? Um, getting those special abilities and putting them down there and building those up over the course of the time. Seeing if you can paint what you can paint when you're there. So overall, this game this game had a lot of uh, interesting decisions to make. It had a lot of pressure luck, had some tense bidding, and it looks amazing. The components are going to be awesome with that bamboo mat. I think this is going to be a hit for Essen uh, for that, you know, 45 minute card game weight of game. It's pretty heavy for what it is, I thought. There's a lot, a lot of things thinking. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not a heavy game, but it's heavier than you might think it is. And I really enjoyed it. So when it does come out of Essen, check this one out. That's Kanagawa from Yellow and designed by Bruno Catala and Charles Chevalier, the, persons, uh, the team that brought you Abyss. This video was sponsored by Miniature Markets Review Corner. The Review Corner features podcasts, video, and written game reviews by gamers for gamers. Miniature Market, the online gaming superstore. Thousands of board games, discounted prices. Check them out at miniaturemarket.com. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for backing me on Kickstarter and making this season become a reality. I'd like to especially thank those here that have backed me at the credit level. Now, these video reviews are also available by audio on our podcast. It's the intros and the final thoughts on GameboyGeek.com. Click podcast.